Hi, Creations by Courtney here, back with the unboxing. It's been a while, I know. Um, I'm working on that for the latter part of 2022, but I've been pretty good. Um, I haven't bought a lot of yarn because I've been working on a large special project, which I am so, so excited to share with you later this summer. Um, I guess I can show you some squish mill that I already got plus what came in last week. So I had three different things come. Um, I didn't know they were all going to come at that time and I might have some more squish mill coming soon. Um, I'm not going to like incriminate myself. So I'll show you a little bit and this is for a design that will be coming in July. No sneak peeks, but I can show you this yarn. Just look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, this beauty right here is by 100 Ravens and it is a wool and silk blend. Just, oh, I want to make like a whole face mask out of it. Just like a whole spa mask. But on to the next thing. I will start with what's right in front of me. Oh my gosh. Do you have this book yet? Do you have this book? So this is my pretty bound doll. This is by the same designer of this name or as known as Yolanda. She is awesome. I actually joined um, her book launch party last week. It was so much fun because she has some people there that are like true diehard fans. And I don't make Amagurumi much. I have in the past, but I could not miss out on getting this book. Um, particularly because of representation, right? There weren't a lot of options when I was a little girl and being a mom to two girls, I'm so excited for this. And I did let them open it and I may <laughs> share that video on live because it is just too cute. But what's so great, it literally takes you through everything, like what you need, different type of accessories, like pom-pom maker, make those cute Afro puffs. You have picture tutorials. So if you're brand new to crochet and brand new to making dolls, Yolanda takes you step by step, right? Like making the body, changing the outfits, adding the hair, the eyes. I mean, this one I want to make first. Let's see. This is, and I mean, oh my gosh, the details on here are just amazing. So yeah, so everything starts with a base doll design. Oh, I was trying to find the picture with all of them on here. Like all the techniques, the hairstyles, and another person who makes gorgeous dolls that's also like a favorite of mine is my kind of thing. I mean, look at these outfits. I think I'll be making several outfits in my future once I get through making a doll for each of my girls because they love changing their outfits. So this was the first part of my lovely yarn mill or squish mill last week. And then this here is from the Crochet Cove. Do you know her? If you don't know her, please go check her out. Nia of the Crochet Cove. So she is an indie dyer based out of Maryland, I believe. I met her during the fiber focused North Carolina retreat this past March. You see this? Oh my gosh. It's one thing to look at it online, and it's another to have like in your hands. So I have been dreaming of this color since March when I saw it in person. This is called Pumpkin Patch. This is Deluxe Fingering. She has several different bases. 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? 437 yards per 100 grams. I don't know what I want to do with it, but I just had to have it because that orange color was talking to me. Now, she shared this on a live, and I was like, O-M-G. Just, can you see these colors? This may not be doing it justice, but it was talking to me, and this is called Earth's Majesty. So, definitely captures the blue, the greens of the globe. And this is going to be part of something special. 
it's a pattern I already have out, but I decided I want to remake it in different colors because why not? And so with it, I'm going to use this beauty. So this color is Maudi and this is a BFL fingering. So this will be my first time working with a um, blue face like Chester wool. I've done superwash, merino, I've done alpaca, but I've not done a BFL. So I'm super excited. Can you guess what I'm gonna make with this? Comment below if you know what pattern I'm going to make with this. Um, again, it's such a fun pattern. We'll definitely test you if you haven't done certain techniques. I'm not gonna tell you because that totally gives away the pattern, but I'm super excited to put that together and see how it works out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then last but not least, I've been so good. Okay, well, kind of, maybe. It's probably been less than two months since I last mortared hook. I had to take advantage of the Furls Crochet Seconds where it's misnumbered or the size is off a little bit, but you get such a still, they're like 50% off. And so as long as you keep your stuff or log into your account, you know what size you got in case it's a little different. And again, if you're not using it for something that has to have perfect gauge, it's a really good way to get a really nice hook for the Lolo. So gotta take out all the wrapping paper. Oh my gosh, the weight on these. Okay, just making sure there's nothing else in the box because it almost feels like a brick of metal. Okay. It's taking so much willpower to not rip this box open. I mean, I was like, for real, in the window, peeping for the postal woman. Mm! Okay, which one shall we start with? I'll start with this one. So... I've been a fan of Furl since 2013, and I wanna say they started in 2011 or 12. So I've been a fan since the beginning. And when I discovered these, I was like, OMG. And I have a knife grip like so when I crochet. So these are amazing for my hand. I know some people don't like the weight, but this is a size J. Um, I already have at least one, if not two or three in every size because I have some of the wood streamline as well as some of the other streamlines like in the swirls and I'm slowly working on adding some of the galaxy swirls. Oh wee! Isn't she beautiful? I just had to because I was recently working with a mint colored yarn and I just had to get a mint colored hook. So this is the Odyssey in mint size J or that's six millimeter. Okay. I'm so excited to open these. If you don't know, you probably do. And if you do, it's because you snatched all of these up with the quickness. I mean, the quickness. Okay, we're gonna open these up together because they're both the same type. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow. I was not expecting these to be like wrapped even more. Oh, that's not saying the weight. Oh my gosh. The weight. Ah! Are these not beautiful? Just beautiful. Okay. This one is a L and this one's a K. J, K, L, right? So I don't often work with these, but I'm thinking ahead of upcoming designs for the fall. I'm going to work with a little bit of chunky yarn on some things. But like, okay. So in comparison... Because the thing about the streamlines, if you don't know, is the body shape is different than the Odyssey. The Odyssey has more of a flat end, right? But it also has the metal tip, but this is all aluminum. So imagine your boy, Susan Bates, right? But with the added weight because of that ergonomic body. Just so, for length reference, the streamline is a little longer. I don't want to say it's a smidge heavier. And I know, like, 
what real test is this? This is from <laughs> lots and lots of crocheting. Like, I'm so used to this one versus this one. Oh, just even the coolness of the metal feels great in my hands. So, yes. If I could figure out how to put this in a case and just let it spin under a light, I think I would. Because this is beautiful. So, yes. A recap. I got three new hooks. Not like I needed them, but I just wanted them because who doesn't collect crochet hooks? Had to get a color I didn't have. There's still like two more. Gotta wait for them to restock. I will put a link below, I uh, an affiliate link if you wanna get your own Froze crochet hooks and keep an eye out. Sign up for my newsletter. I'll let you know when stuff pops up on sale as well. But anyways, got these three hooks. Why not? They are beautiful. Got this from the Crochet Cove. Aren't these just so beautiful together? Like, what? And then this. This is a true first, my pretty brown doll. If you want to know how to make amigurumi starting to finish, I mean, look at that mermaid. How cute is that? And the ballerina, the schoolgirl with a backpack, right? And the beret, the scientist. Ugh, so excited. But that's all I have for y'all. Stay tuned. I will be back soon with more, okay? I think, you know, maybe some fashion styling with my fiber work. So you have some ideas too. So don't forget to comment below and tell me what you think. If you have one of these new streamlined metal hooks, let me know what you think of it. I can't wait to find something to jump into to give those a try. As well as comment with what, you're, what you think I'm going to remake with this. Seriously, what pattern do you think I'm going to remake with these two colors? Because it's not what you think, or maybe you do know. But either way, I will see y'all soon. Keep stitching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos about tutorials, making patterns, and more. I'll see you soon.